Hey, this is Infinity Parks, and today I'll be doing a review on the Star Wars Rogue One Smuggler's Bounty Box. This box is very reminiscent of the Death Star, which is what Rogue One is about. The best part about the box is that it has the Scarif Trooper or Shore Trooper on the front, which is what I thought the Funko Pop would be, but it's actually one even 100% better than that. Now, as we open the box, you can see that it says on the front, Behold your share of Smuggler's Bounty, but the K2SO and Cassian Andor patch cover it. So, um, so this is actually the pin right here. Let me just tear it off. Make it easier. You get K2SO in a pin. Which give you a little look at since now I'm actually doing a review. There. K2SO. Yep. Probably can't see it. No. Okay. This camera doesn't have good focus. Um, but it's K2SO, and on the bottom it says an Arabesh Smuggler's Bounty, which is something I found the other day. And the patch is Captain Cassian Andor, which is by far one of the most interesting characters of Rogue One. And it says Smuggler's Bounty 2 on the side in Arabesh here, starting from here to here. Yep. Yep. Um, now that we have the front things taken off, you can see here. You flip up the front, and some of these actually were in packaging, but I took them out because I actually wore it when I saw the movie. Um, such as this t shirt, which I have in large, um, which is this shirt, which is like all the characters but in Funko Pop version with Darth Vader, the Death Star. Director Krennic, Cassie Andor in the left, Jenner on the middle, Baze and Chirrut on the right, and the best part, which is my favorite part, is that there's ATACTs and Funko Pop are actually around them. One next to uh, Cassie and Andor, one next to Chirrut, and one next to Director Krennic. Yep. So with that, also. You get a teaser of what the next one is, which is The Empire Strikes Back. And that's what it comes with. And it shows on the back how they designed everything that it comes with, including the things that I'm actually about to show you, which is um, the Death Trooper, Death Trooper, um, Darth Vader, and then Jyn Erso and Edu. Eon, Edu uniform which I'll say right now the Darth Vader actually comes in so many different colors includes gold gold silver uh, red blue and black and you'll see I actually got very lucky with mine because nobody would want a blue red gold or silver version of Darth Vader but let's actually start with him so I actually got the black version of Darth Vader which is like space Space black because it has the um, stars in the background apparently. It is from I don't even know how to pronounce that, but I won't even try. It's H Haraki Haraki Minis, which is like a Japanese company, I guess. Yep. And now I'm taking Darth Vader out. And this is actually my first time taking him out, so this is actually gonna look cool. He's like all black with like silver dots all over him, so it looks like he's like space, just like a Spider-Man of the I forget what universe, but he's like Captain Universe, but it's like Captain Universe Darth Vader. Yep. There was better focus. Okay. Um, yep. So that's the space Captain Universe Darth Vader 
and we'll go from a kind of Funko Pop that I like to a one that I really like, which is this one, the Jin Urso of Iadu, Idu, which it says right there. It's a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive, Jin Urso, one four, one four zero, one four eight, and it has all of them, which I don't actually have all of them. I was trying to find. Scarif Trooper here and the normal Death Trooper, but I never found him. Darth Vader as well, and Director Krennic, which I actually found the other day, but I didn't want to buy him yet. And those are the two that you get, including C2B5 and uh, Key2SF. So I have actually had these two. So there's Jin, and I'll take her out of the box. First time I'm actually taking her out. You get this background, which I believe is a little line symbol. Nope, it's the first order. Yep. And here is Jin. Jin Urso is the Eden costume, which is like the the goggles and the like the rain jacket vest that she had on Edu. Um, with a stormtrooper blaster, which you probably can't see because the quality is horrible. And here's something I actually found out. I thought when I had the next one I'll show you, he popped off and I went like, what? But they actually can come off the stands. Just something I just noticed. Yep. <laughs> I don't really own much Funkos except for some Marvel ones and then these Star Wars ones. So I'm not really a big collector on Funko, but I find they're actually cute. Extremely. Yep. So that's Jin Urso in the Edu costume. And then we'll go on to my favorite one next. The last one of the box is my favorite character of the whole movie, the Imperial Death Trooper. These guys are so awesome. They are amazing. I try to find out about them, but they don't do much, know much. Except that they're based on the zombie troopers back in legends but they're actually back in canon now because of star wars commander the game i play just got to headquarters level 10. um yeah so this is the death trooper he is um different version that is already out the non-exclusive version which is just has the gun in front if i remember correctly um yeah gun in front but this one actually has the gun on the side and my version is actually a little warped it goes it curves like yeah and this one's actually the specialist version which i don't know is it i can't tell but the specialist versions have the the pauldrons here and the grenades in front while the normal standards like normal ones are don't have the pauldron and the grenades in the front so I guess the specialists are commanding officers of them. That's the thing I can think of. But yeah, this is the Death Trooper, which I have on display at all times. So I just put it in the box just for this review. So you could just see what you originally get in it. So yeah, that's the final thing of the Rogue One Smuggler's Bounty Box. Let's see, nothing else in it. And I can't wait to actually see what January's has, even though Empire Strikes Back is one of my favorite movies with Rogue One in behind. And then Force Awakens, because I am Kylo Ren. If you don't know, I have a cosplay of Kylo Ren, which I'll probably post a video of sometime, I don't know, in the near future. Probably for Star Wars Celebration. Um, but yeah, that was the... Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Rogue One Edition. So yeah, um, that is it. Thank you.